Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, green uh, square fully confined uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, we got this uh, diagonal uh, A, C of this uh, rectangle, as you can see, such that uh, this segment uh, A, E is uh, two units. The segment uh, E, F uh, is uh, five units. And finally, this segment uh, C, F uh, is uh, three units. In other words, the whole uh, diagonal A, C is uh, 10 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, green uh, shaded uh, square. And we know all its uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal. Let me label uh, this side length uh, of this uh, green square as uh, lowercase uh, a. Then this side length uh, is going to be lowercase uh, a. This side length is lowercase a. And this side length is going to be lowercase a as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side uh, AB is going to be lowercase a and this side uh, CD is uh, lowercase a as well. And now since we are interested in uh, calculating the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, square, and now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length uh, of the square. So therefore, this uh, green square area is going to be lowercase a whole uh, square since the side length of this green square is lowercase a. And now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, this uh, a square. And here's our next step. We are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job uh, simple. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have drawn these uh, parallel uh, lines. In other words, uh, all these uh, lines uh, are uh, parallel to each uh, other. And moreover, uh, this angle uh, ABC and this angle uh, EPF are 90 degrees uh, each. And furthermore, uh, these angles, uh, this angle, uh, this angle, uh, and uh, this angle, uh, they are our corresponding uh, angles and they are congruent. In other words, if this angle is alpha, then this angle is alpha, and this angle has got to be alpha as well. And here's our next step. Let me label uh, this uh, side length uh, of this uh, rectangle uh, as uh, lowercase uh, b. And now we are going to focus on these uh, two right triangles. Uh, this uh, right triangle uh, A, B, C, this whole uh, big uh, right uh, triangle and this uh, other smaller right triangle uh, E, P, F, as you can see. So therefore we conclude that this uh, big right triangle uh, A, B, C and other right triangle uh, E, P, F uh, are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem. Since uh, all uh, these uh, angles, this angle, this angle, this angle, they are uh, 90 degrees each. And uh, these uh, angles are our corresponding uh, angles. So therefore, we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, the side length uh, of uh, B, C divided by the side length uh, A, C is going to be equal to the side length uh, P, F uh, divided by the side length uh, E, F. In other words, uh, the ratio of this uh, side length B, C and this uh, side length uh, A, C is going to be equal to the ratio of this side length uh, P, F uh, and this uh, side length uh, E, F. And now we know our uh, this uh, B, C length uh, is uh, lowercase b. Our this uh, A, C whole length uh, is uh, this uh, sum of these individual lengths uh, 2, 5 uh, and 3 that is going to give us uh, 10. So therefore our this AC length uh, is uh, 10. 
and our this uh, pf length uh, is same as lowercase a so therefore i'm going to replace this pf uh, by lowercase a and finally this uh, ef length uh, is 5 so therefore i'm going to replace this one by 5 so therefore we are ended up with the lowercase b divided by 10 equal to lowercase a divided by 5 let me multiply both uh, sides by 10 to isolate uh, b and we can see this 10 and 10 is uh, gone so therefore our b value turns out to be when we reduce this one that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, a and we know that this uh, b c length uh, is same as lowercase b so therefore uh, this whole uh, b c length is going to be 2 times uh, a so therefore we conclude that this uh, our b c length uh, is uh, 2 times uh, a and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, a b c and we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square in our case uh, the longest uh, leg uh, the hypotenuse is uh, 10 other two legs uh, are uh, 2 times a and uh, a so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula so we got uh, a square plus uh, 2 times a whole square equals to 10 square and now we are going to simplify we got uh, a square plus 4 times a square equals to 100 let me combine the like terms so we are going to get uh, 5 a square equals to 100 let me divide both sides by 5 to isolate uh, a square so therefore this uh, 5 and 5 is gone thus uh, our a square value turns out to be 20 so thus we can see our a square value turns out to be 20 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded square and we know that the green square area is equal to a square and our a square value is uh, 20 so therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, green square is going to be 20 square units so thus the area of this uh, green shaded square turns out to be 20 square units in other words the area of this uh, green shaded square is going to be 20 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye